Big changes are coming to historic Main Street in St. Charles. Fox 2's Andy Baker is there live tonight where the mayor says, quote, the hammer has just fallen. Andy, what exactly does that mean? Now, like something out of the movie Footloose, Vic, it means no more dancing on historic Main Street, no more loud music. The, the mayor is aware of the optics here, but he's going for this anyway. He says historic Main Street St. Charles is known for its shops, big holiday events, restaurants, bars, and yes, nightlife. But in recent months, it's also become known for massive street crowds and gunfire. This video you'll see is from September, but in the past month, police have repeatedly responded to calls for shots fired here. There's even been a murder. The mayor says total legal capacity for businesses in the historic district here, that's not all of Main Street, but in the district, it's around 3,000. But the number's been hitting five to 6,000 with nightclubs drawing most of the people. He says the district is not zoned for dancing, loud music, or live entertainment. And that's going to be enforced starting now. This is not my first rodeo with you folks. Uh, I didn't get the name um, Footloose, Mayor Footloose, by accident. Uh, but we've got to do what we've got to do to control it, and we've identified the types of behavior that are causing the problems that we're having, and until that's mitigated or we can find some other venue to, for people to do and take place with that, we're going to continue to become more restrictive rather than less. We have had several investigations where people have been hurt, assaulted, or even the most recent murder, um, and those seem to be coming at the end of bar closing nights when we have those. So that's what we're trying to address and curtail. About 18 businesses that are impacted in the historic district have gotten letters from the city today notifying them of the changes, which also include a requirement that all businesses that serve alcohol, 50% of their business at least, must come from food sales. That will be strictly enforced. It hasn't been, sort of been eased during the pandemic, the mayor says, not anymore. Live in St. Charles, Andy Banker, Fox 2 News. Andy, thank you.